Hello Tab Nation, it is Tom and today we're going to do a quick little video about just kind of like hiding your monitor, you know, the screen, turning it off, that kind of thing. I see this question asked quite a bit and I actually use this script uh, from time to time when I just want to be able to not have to actually physically turn off one of my extra monitors but just kind of have it blacked out. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the code, shall we? Let me actually go ahead and get that script running. And I'll edit in some uh, visuals of my screen so you can actually see them since you won't be able to see this in the recording very well. Uh, but the first one is just kind of a send message. Uh, I've done some videos about those, so I don't really use this very often because when I use this, it's uh, sending like the changing some stuff in the project manager or program manager. And this is just actually it stops sending signal to all my monitors. I never really have any use for it, but I'm just throwing it in here in case you want to. There's the code. Nothing really to manipulate with it. It just it just stops sending signal to all your uh, monitors. And then to reactivate them, you can just push a button on your keyboard and move your mouse. And it, it's like it going to sleep almost. But here's what I use a lot. So here we're going to be pushing F2. Uh, I have a handler here. You'll see why in the next step. So just ignore that for now. And I use a toggle. That way I can just use F2 and not have to use two different keys. So it's going to toggle on. And it says if toggle. It's going to do system git monitor 2. So I'm looking for monitor 2. So it's basically getting the information from that monitor. Basically the X, Y coordinates, all that kind of stuff. I'm then going to use a GUI. I find a GUI to be the simplest solution to do this. And I'm going to get rid of the caption. So that's just GUI minus caption. And the caption is just this bar at the top where you have like your uh, minimize and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to see that. I, I want the whole screen blacked out. So I don't want that GUI bar at the top. I'm then going to do always on top. That way if there is any program that's on that display, it's not going to matter because this will always cover it until I deactivate it with the toggle once again. Now the GUI, I want the color. I want the whole thing to just be black. Uh, and that's just a bunch of zeros right there like you see there. Obviously, you can change the color. Just Google it. You know, if you want it white, I think it's all Fs. Um, but I, I want to black it out. So I'm just using all zeros. That's black. And then uh, show the GUI. And then from up here where we got that system git, we got the information about monitor 2. That's what these variables are here. So it's gathering what is the x coordinates, the y coordinates. Basically, how big is my monitor, I guess is a simple way to say it. <laughs> and then I just call the GUI blackout. Uh, this could be blank, really, honestly, just because we're not going to have that caption there. So we're not going to see the title anyway. You know, the title of this is, you know, right here, it's uh, the script name plus notepad plus plus, you know, so I, I'm not going to see that. So honestly, you could bl you could just get rid of that if you wanted to. And then, um, <clears throat> so if I then push F2 again, it's going to turn the toggle off. The toggle is basically an on and off switch. I've done another video about that, which I'll link in the description below if you want to know a little bit more about that. It's then going to hit this else instead, and it's going to do a GUI destroy, which is just going to get rid of that GUI. And then I'll be able to see my desktop or whatever window I have open there again. So let's go ahead and see that in action. I'm going to flip my camera around and you'll see that. So I just have uh, an Explorer open over here on my second screen. You can see my first screen a little bit over here. So I'm going to go ahead and push F2. And as you see, it just blacked out the screen, and that's just the GUI. F2 again, and it's back. So there we go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward on how that works. Obviously, you can manipulate this to do different things, but this is a simple blackout screen. Now, just to throw it out there, just in case you want to do a little bit extra, I added this F3. So... Maybe you want to black out that screen, but also hide or minimize all your windows. Windows has that actually built in by default, which is just uh, Windows key D. And then I did go to hide it. So then it jumps up here and then blacks out the screen. 
Obviously, you could duplicate this code and change this to monitor 1 and have, you know, monitor 1 and 2. That way, if you wanted to black out both of your screens at the same time, you could do that. And then this, you could just add this code, you know, up here, or have it its own hotkey, whatever you want to do. And that would hide or minimize the windows and then black out the screen. So I'm just throwing that there extra. I don't really use that, but I, I use this a lot uh, for different things. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and actually take a look at F3 being put into action. We'll cut to my screen here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and push F3. It's gonna minimize all the windows and then black out the screen. There we go. Push it again, brings all the windows back and unblacks out the screen. And there you go. If you have any questions, let me know if you have a way to improve on this script let me know and uh, if you want me to expand let me know again uh, just throw them in the comments below i'm happy to help and definitely uh you know anything you guys run into issues with this all right thank you guys for watching see you on the next one